Howdy, my name's Josh, and this is my 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK. Unlike most people's Jeep Wranglers, I decided to rip out the back seat of mine and turn it into a camper. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about what exactly this two-door Wrangler looks like on the inside. So, without further ado, let's get going. The inside of my car actually looks like this. I built an entire frame out of 2x4s and retrofitted it into where my back seat used to be. This in combination with the top of it kind of makes this entire build happen. Now I can talk a bit about the top in a second, but what I did for the actual back of the car is I engineered slides for all of my different items as well as my cooler. So for the actual slides that I put all my items on, I used industrial grade drawer slides and just added some wood to each side, mounted it to the interior of the 2x4s, and now I have two really awesome slides that can house both my cooler and all my cooking supplies. I do have plans at some point to try to rig a power system into this thing. I want to try to get either a 12 volt cooler or just a smaller plug-in refrigerator that I can build into a portable power station like a Jackery so I can actually have long-term cooling and I at some point want to put a solar panel on the roof which the top is a whole different story so let's talk about that for a second. This right here is a Smitty built safari top. The cool thing about the safari top and the whole reason I was able to even make this build was because the safari top adds six extra inches of clearance than a traditional top. So that space gives me one pretty amazing feature, which I can talk about in just a second. But also it adds these two little windows, which are really nice for in the mornings when you wanna check to see what the time's like, or if it's raining, or it's just a great little feature to have. But the biggest thing about this top is that clearance, and it adds one really cool feature that I added as well. So I can quickly talk about that. So this is what the inside of the cabin looks like. This above my head is an alien shade, which is basically a black piece of cloth that's used as a shade in most traditional Jeeps. But what I decided to use it as is to hold all of my fabrics. So the shade sits right here and then I'm able to put all of my pillows and blankets and everything I need for when it gets cold up in here and it's still the same height as a traditional Wrangler. So I get all of this extra storage space for no additional cost in terms of size. So I can still have the comforts of driving a Jeep normally, but now I get all this extra space thanks to the Safari Top. Also, not to mention, the Safari Top is completely coated by, with marine carpet on the inside, so it provides a lot more soundproofing, and it also allows me to Velcro things onto the top, which I'll talk about right now. So up here along this top window, I've actually Velcroed an LED light strip, which I ran a USB cable for and plugged it into my console. But this is how I actually light the whole thing. I just have this little remote that I use to turn it on and then the entire thing lights up and it's actually a pretty good system and it doesn't really drain my battery too much. So this is a really great idea if you're wanting to try to do this in your vehicle because it doesn't, you don't have to worry about batteries first of all and it's also very power efficient and it's actually pretty bright. So I love having this thing up here and it wouldn't have been possible if this thing didn't have marine carpet on it. All right, so let's talk about the elephant in the room which is how the hell do I actually sleep in this thing? So I'm five foot five, but even with the bed that you just saw in the back, I can't even fit in that, even though I am a freakishly small human. This car and the whole reason that this was able to work was because of an engineering idea that I had, where basically I have to find a way to extend the bed, and I did that by adding it to the seat. Let me kind of show you what that looks like. So traditionally, when you want to slide the seat in a Jeep, you want to try to get and access the back seat. So what Jeep engineered was a mechanism where you could pull the front seat and push it forward. Simple, it's like every other two-door car. But that right there is the reason this becomes a bed. So what I did is I got a piece of plywood and I just added a section of my mattress, which is just a king-size mattress topper, to the top of it. And now I have a piece that I can insert into my car to extend my bed the additional two to three feet that I need to be able to sleep in it comfortably. So I'll show you what that looks like. So basically what I'm able to do now is just pull out the panel, which sits behind my seat and it's comfortable and normal. You don't really even notice it's there. And then I just push it into the existing mattress and I put a little lip there so it can stand. And then you just put it up against the seat and smack it down. And then the friction is actually holding it in place on the seat itself so you don't have to worry about it. And then now you have an extra three feet of sleeping space that you wouldn't normally get. 
and this is the reason I'm able to even sleep in this thing is because of this. And I have one for this side and I have one for this side. So I'll go ahead and put it out so you can see what it looks like. Which now I'm actually able to comfortably lay down on. And I'm able to stretch out all the way. There's no weird angles or anything I have to do to get comfortable in this thing. I mean, I just lay out normally like it's a bed. And this is a four inch mattress topper I've traditionally found on a king size bed. And after I put it underneath on this carpeting layer, it honestly sleeps pretty dang well, and I'm able to get some good amount of sleep in it. That is pretty much my Jeep. There are some other cool little things, like I have these bags that I use to put around my roll bars that allow me to store some extra stuff. Each of the side panels and pockets of this thing actually can hold quite a bit in between the wooden frame and the exterior of the Wrangler since I pulled out all my carpeting, so that can hold quite a bit of stuff. And there's even actually a compartment hidden underneath my current slides I put all my kitchen stuff on where the spare tire kit used to be so that's where the irons and everything work but yeah so this thing offers quite a bit of space and it's a pretty good vehicle I'm in the process of trying to convert it to a stealth camper so I may make a video about that so yeah I think that's gonna be it for this total build if you want me to talk more about how I actually engineered this thing and how long it took. I have pictures and everything, but it's a very long story. So let me know if you want to hear more about it and look more into it, and I can make another video or two about it. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get back on the road, so I hope you have a good one.